This video slash stream is sponsored by TradersCentral.com. Traders Central provide funding for traders, spot cryptocurrency exchange services, and access to trading tools like copy trade softwares, portfolio tracking, and a social platform exclusively for communicating with your traders' friends. Sign up using the link in the descriptions and get up to 30% off on your first plan. Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So today in this video, we are going to be doing daily technical analysis in gold, US dollar, currency pairs. Let us look at the economical events calendar for today. Today is Friday, July 22nd. At 6 a.m. we have tentative medium impacting news on New Zealand dollar related currency pairs. At 11.30 am we have medium impacting news for British pound related currency pairs and at 12.45 pm we have high impacting news for euro related currency pairs followed by which we have low impacting news on euro related currency pairs and at 1 pm we have high impacting news for euro related currency pairs followed by which 2 pm we have high impacting news on British pound related currency pairs and at 6 pm we have high impact news on Canadian dollar related currency pairs again at 7 15 pm we have high impact news on US dollar related currency pairs so today we have lots of high impacting and medium impacting news planned on major currency pairs so we can see lot of volatility in major currency pairs so requesting you to consider these events also while planning for your trades today. Let us begin our gold analysis. I am in daily time frame now. So when we look at the price action in daily time frame, as I explained earlier, it is still in a very strong bearish trend. It has to cross the previous highs, then only it will be a trend reversal. Currently it has tested the level of 1680 then we have noticed a price action to bounce back on the bullish side retracement when we look at yesterday's candle it has formed a very strong bullish candle and it is also a engulfing candle which shows the sign of bullish side retracement starting from this support level of 1680 so today's candle also has formed near to the level where it closed yesterday so if this candle continues to close in a bullish candle then we can get the confirmation on the bullish side retracement starting from this support level of 1680. When we draw a bearish channel pattern to check the current price action we can clearly notice that the wig of yesterday's candle has touched the first support line of the bearish channel pattern. So it has already taken support on this channel pattern support line and we are noticing a bullish side bounce back starting from this support level. So it has to break this resistance line in order to continue its bullish side retracement. I would recommend you to wait for this today's candle to close in green in order to get the confirmation on the bullish side retracement. And even if today's candle bounces back on the bearish side also as long as this support level between 1698 to 1670 is not broken there is still chances for the price action to bounce back on the bullish side retracement and looking at yesterday's candle we are getting the sign of bullish side retracement to start let us wait and see how today's candle is going to close if it closes on green there is the confirmation on the start of the bullish side retracement 1725 is going to be the immediate resistance if this resistance is taken next level of resistance it's going to be around 1746 let us do the analysis in 4 hours time frame i'm in 4 hours time frame looking at the price action in 4 hours time frame it was previously in a very strong bearish trend and currently we are noticing the price action to break this resistance line of the bearish channel pattern if this break sustains, we can expect the bullish side retracement to start in 4 hours time frame also. We have the daily time frame resistance line running over here 
and also we have the next level of resistance which is around 1725 which it has to break in order to continue further on the bullish side retracement and as long as this support level of 1698 is not taken we can still expect the price action to retrace and to bounce back on the bullish side retracement let us do the analysis in hourly time frame i mean hourly time frame when we look at the price action in hourly time frame i am drawing a resistance line over here so previously the price action had traded below this resistance line taking the market into bearish trend and it has taken support on the bearish channel pattern support line from the 4 hours time frame and the daily time frame and currently we have noticed a price action to bounce back from this support level on the bullish side retracement it has also broken the resistance line from the hourly time frame and also the resistance line of the 4 hours time frame so if the price action retraces on the bearish side also this hourly time frame will be acting as a support line and if this support line is breached we have the next level of support which is from the daily time frame around the level of 1696 in order to continue further on the bearish side trend let us mark the support and resistance levels for hourly time frame so the values within this blue color boxes are the resistance and support levels for hourly time frame since yesterday's trading range was narrow we have lots of resistance and support levels within the narrow range as long as this bottom most support level of 1680 is not taken out we can expect the price action to retrace and to bounce back on the bullish side retracement let us do the analysis in 30 minutes time frame i am in 30 minutes time frame when we look at the price action in 30 minutes time frame i am drawing a support line so based on this price action we can clearly notice that the price action has broken this 30 minutes time frame trend line or the support line and it is trading above this support line so currently the trend in 30 minutes time frame is also on a bullish side and if the price action comes on the bearish side also we can expect it to take support on the 30 minutes time frame trend line or the support line so we have lots of support line on the bottom and we have lots of resistance line on the top also let us wait and see which way the price action trades today the price action has to break this daily time frame resistance line in order to continue further on the bullish side retracement if this breakout fails then we can expect the price action to again trend down on the bearish side let us mark the support and resistance levels so the values within this blue color boxes are the resistance and support levels for 30 minutes time frame let us do the analysis in 5 minutes time frame i am in 5 minutes time frame now when we look at the price action in 5 minutes time frame i am drawing a trend line or the support line so previously the price action has respected this support line and now we are noticing the price action to start its bearish side retracement first level of support is going to be the 4 hours time frame bearish channel pattern support line and if this support is broken we have the hourly time frame support line below this 4 hours time frame support line so we have lots of support line from the higher time frame on the bearish side and if the bullish side retracement continues also we have the first level of resistance which is around 1723 from the daily time frame as long as this higher time frame support level of 1696 is not taken we can expect the price action to bounce back from this support level on the bullish side retracement let us mark the support and resistance levels so the values within this blue color boxes are going to be the resistance and support levels for 5 minutes time frame currently we are noticing the price action to retrace for the bullish trend it has made yesterday as long as the lower level of 1693 is not taken we can expect the price action to continue with bullish side retracement that's all the analysis for today thank you for watching this video if you have found this video to be useful press that like button and share this video with your friends